okay, so you know how to get to this part. So let me show you how we color fill them. So this one just got pulled off the router. I'm assuming you guys know how to get it to this scenario here. How to get your machine actually works. Don't, I'm probably for a beginner video here up soon on your routers. Uh, this one, we'll go ahead and show you how to color fill it. We're actually using three different colors, and I'm going to go and do all of one color, and then we're going to switch to another sign that's already dry, and then you guys get to see the next process right away. We don't have to actually wait until tomorrow. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's do it. I am using, okay, so they have a field of blue, black lettering, black lettering, and then red stripes for the American flag. I know, pretty risque having an American flag and it? being in America. So we have uh, pine, which this customer wants to just leave this pine, so it makes my job just a little bit easier. And I'll explain that in the next steps. So I'm gonna use Colonial Red Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover. I use this color all the time, I like it a lot. Shake it up really good. And then we'll get our toenail clippers or tweezers back into those. And I want to open this up. All right, so latex paint, water cleanup. So it cleans up really easy off of your fingers, off of uh, your brushes and whatnot. And we'll just show you how careful. You gotta be really, really careful doing this. So pick up. Bit. Oh, by the way, it's about a one inch brush. Pick up a little bit like this. It will go into here and it will go really, really careful. No, not really. We're just going to get it everywhere. Get this thing, get this dude in here. Go for more paint. Go everywhere. I don't care if we slop it around, it doesn't matter. Don't know if you've seen any of my other color fill videos, but this is the right way to do it. The simple way to do it. Save you time, save time, make money. Save time, make money, right? Sorry for the low video quality. For some reason, I don't have my camera with me today, so I am just using my phone, which I hate doing. Okay, we'll get some good shots with some nice commentary here as I finish painting this red. I'm slopping it on everything. Okay. May need two coats, it's normal. And then I'm just gonna switch straight into doing the black, and white. However, I don't know if I have time to show that because I don't know if I have time to do that tonight before I leave. Because my family's about to come, come here and we are going to rearrange our entire shop. Even though we just moved in six months ago. Brand new shop. So I'm gonna go ahead and just finish this red up here. So there's the red, slopped on everything. That's okay. I'm like, ooh, it's slopped on everything, it's so messy. This way's easier, mask it off. Well, let's wait till you see my next step. It'll make sense. <sighs> All right, there it is. I know it has an address on there, but don't tell you the city. We ship thousands and thousands of signs all over the United States. So. I don't think you'll be able to figure out where it goes. However, this guy did have me put an address on his sign because he wants everyone to know where he lives. Jump to the next stage. Okay. So I'm switching signs on you. Got one that's already dry. It's pretty neat. Got it all filled in. Next step is to sand. Um, I'm using an 80 grit random portable sander. And uh, keep it on there flat, sand this paint off. Take a look. Here it is all done sanded. Take a look. It's beautiful just like this. We could just clean this off, clear coat it. But this particular customer wants us to 
embellish this even further, and I'm going to show you those next steps in here just a second. I've got some found some really good deals on uh, some sandpaper on Amazon. I'm going to share those uh, links in the description for you for this 80 grit sandpaper that I recommend. Next step, we'll go ahead and just dust this off with this broom. Use a blower. We've got this little hand broom, so we'll use it. All right, guys, put on gloves. I got a good deal on these too. I'll put a link in the description for these. I'm going to be using Minwax Gunstock Stains. Beautiful. Uh, now I'm wearing gloves not because I'm scared I'm going to catch some kind of disease, but just because I don't want the Minwax stain on my fingers. So let's get doing this now. Jesus. Spill! Alright, so put paper on your table to protect your workbench. Don't think that the paper that's hanging over the side of the workbench will work as a tabletop. Whoops. Alright, here we go. Beautiful. So I'll come over here and I'll show you this embellishing part and I'm going to remove this from forward facing or whatever this is. I like to take the rag and put it up around my finger and then dip it into some stain. And then you can come easily into here and just work right up to the edges. It's gonna be nice. Blonde, red. I'm gonna put a I'll put a link of this min wax in the description too, because this is a beautiful stain. Ooh, ghosts. See, I'm dipping the excess off there on a safe place. You could use a rag. Whatever, doesn't matter. Forget to wipe those out so they don't leave bright spots. A little word here of advice if you use a black color fill, if you drop a little bit of stain in it, you're never going to be able to tell. But I would still recommend wiping it out. Now, if a customer asks for a white color fill, you're in for a world of hurt. Well, here it is finished. The right, this is two foot by four foot, by the way. We go all the way up to four foot by eight foot. <clears throat> so two foot by four foot. Uh, and you might be saying, hey Jay, there's still dust in the black, which there is. That's the next step, which I'm gonna show you in another video is the clear coat. All we gotta do is blow that off and put a nice decent clear coat on this thing will pop and be absolutely gorgeous so i wish the rights luck i assume that's their wedding but i don't want to you know, insult anybody by assuming they're being married so <laughs> well i'm jay and that's my to-do list thanks for watching now i'm gonna work on my thumbnail like i normally do so i don't know if i should use this one or if I should do a totally different one. But I think I just use this one because we just finished it. Ooh. Now I got that vaccine or whatever. Let me... Now I got that uh... germs on my hands. Now I got that germs on my hands. Go touch it. So. Hmm. I don't want to give this one away. Let's go this one. I got one running out here on the router. Let's go over that one. There we go. Move it around. Stupid router in my way.
don't know. I try to pay well, done ruin this sign. This is what I'm getting ready to show you guys how to color fill it. Believe it or not, I did that last. So, I'm Jay. This is Max Thanks for stopping.